So I wanted to show you guys the addition that I made to the Jeep trailer to make the crane even stronger than it originally was. So I was I was pulling some pulling a big log with the crane here and this piece right here actually bent bent out quite a bit. I had the whole the whole top of the crane here all the way over here and I was actually winching a log out of the creek. And it actually it didn't bend the crane, it bent the almost half inch thick steel that I have down here. You can see the where the paint has chipped is where it bent, which is the end of the mount. So I added in, this is actually a piece of bed frame, so it ties these top two supports here together so they won't bend, uh, it won't bend there. And then I also, I added in another piece of steel that actually came with the crane. This was the mount that you were supposed to use to mount the crane to a truck bed, which I didn't use because I had already made a mounting plate for it. So I ended up using those two pieces and I actually I welded it up here and then I also welded it down here. I did two passes and actually the first pass welded really 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 nice but the second one was actually really uh, blobby and kind of bubblegumish. It didn't really look good. So I don't know what it was there. Maybe I was going too fast or didn't have enough of heat. Um, funny thing is to bend this back I actually just took the whole crane pivoted it back over to here and tied the winch cable here to a a chain and then the chain to a tree so I actually just used the winch here to bend the whole mount assembly back over and get it pretty close I had to take a clamp here and clamp Run a, we have a big bar clamp, and I ran a clamp from here to here, and that brought those two pieces in so I could put in the piece of bed frame, and I think that will make it a lot stronger. Now, my brother had suggested that I put a, a second triangular brace. This is, I'm basically making a triang that, triangle now, is all I'm doing, and boy, you wouldn't believe the rigidity that that just that one piece added I I was shocked how much stronger this whole setup is if I'd have known that in the beginning that's what I would have done to start out with so he suggested putting a second brace second brace going from up here all the way down to let's see the axle is right about there so put a second brace in right about here but the problem with doing that is you lose width in the trailer and I don't really want to lose width. I don't mind losing a little bit up front because I already had the battery here and I can actually just take the battery and put it on to the other side so you don't really lose that much. Um, so yeah that's I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not weld in another piece. Because for that all to bend, I'd have to literally take, like, this corner of the trailer from the middle there all the way over and literally just bend the whole, the whole thing to do that. And I don't think that would happen because we have this jack out here. And I think, uh, I think this will be a, a big addition. I actually tied it in. I welded it up top here and then I tied it, it tied it in to the tube, the main uh, tube for the trailer. And that's uh, a lot stronger than I was expecting now. I, I had to cut a hole in the bed here which I kind of expected. I didn't really want to have to take this whole bed off because it's a lot of work doing all this. So I actually just uh, cut a hole in there and tried to get the uh, 
steel here to, to match up so I didn't have too much of a hole to fix. And we actually did have some, uh, this piece right here, it was a cold weld to begin with. There wasn't a lot of penetration. And this was actually starting to pull away from the crane, so I just took and ran, I think, two beads on that. Um, but yeah, I'm painting a painting a Cub Cadet, a newer Cub Cadet snowplow at the moment. Uh, this is the back piece for it, and then this is the front. This is Rust-Oleum uh, Safety Yellow, I think is what it's called. And... Yeah, it, uh, it looks pretty good. I'm impressed. It's not perfect. Uh, there are some uh, runs and I have a little dent there and then a, another dent there. But you can see the powder coat was uh, peeling here and a spot up there and a spot there. And so I figured we'd repaint it and uh, it looks a lot better. This. This Rust-Oleum Safety Yellow is actually almost, it is almost uh, John Deere Yellow. So I may have a, have a color for uh, a John Deere tractor here. So that's enough of me yammering on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.